Hey, Mark Shepard again, America's top anxiety expert. My website is crushanxiety.com and I'm here with another tip today to help you understand how you're wired, how your unconscious mind plays such a powerful role in your experience of anxiety. Now, one of the prime directives of your unconscious mind is that it runs the body. The first prime directive is the one we talked about in our last tip, to preserve the body. But your unconscious mind also has the job of running the body. Now, right now, I bet, until I mention it, you are not aware of the fact that your left pinky toe is being perfectly served with all the oxygen and nutrients that it needs. The blood is flowing perfectly fine in your pinky toe. Um, you didn't have to think, oh, pinky toe, get blood and oxygen. Oh, what about other pinky toe? Oh, uh, your unconscious mind is taking care of that. Your unconscious mind is beating your heart. Your unconscious mind is breathing your lungs. So you don't have to remember, oh, breathe lungs. <sighs> so your unconscious mind does a lot of things without you being even aware of it. Your unconscious mind also never sleeps. Now, part of the wonderful challenge of this, if you are unconsciously running images on your mental movie screen, your unconscious mind is actually responding and reacting to, reacting to those pictures outside of your conscious awareness. So a lot of times I talk to my, my anxiety clients and they'll ask me questions like, well, what if, um, what if I use this tool and it stops anxiety now, but doesn't, doesn't help me next year? Well, you just created a picture in your mind of not feeling better next year. And you just pop that into your unconscious mind and then your unconscious mind reacts to it. So one of the things is just, I think knowledge is power and to understand that you have a conscious mind, which is your will and you have an unconscious mind, which is your imagination. And it's just like the analogy that I've heard recently of your conscious mind being like the rider and your unconscious mind being like a six ton elephant. If the rider and the elephant want to go in the same direction, it's all good. But if the elephant, gets freaked and the rider says, no, go this way, and they have an argument, the elephant's going to win. Your unconscious mind is unbelievably powerful. So part of the crush anxiety process is to actually learn about your unconscious mind and to befriend it, to understand it so that you can contact it and get its cooperation to crush anxiety. So it's a quick tip. There's a, oh, I have so much more. This is I, I, I get frustrated because I want to share everything with you. And there's a lot more at crushanxiety.com or go ahead and subscribe to this channel and I'll be giving you more uh, in little short bites so that you can kind of take it all in as you go. So Mark Shepard, America's Stop Anxiety Expert, thanks. And remember, you can crush anxiety in your lifetime. Thanks so much.